Hey folks, welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn. A couple of items before we get rolling here from last episode. One, we just finished the uh, research on battery storage. Is that what it's called? Energy storage. And I was under the impression that was going to open up the door to be able to research things like the battery. Turns out we got the battery. So, um... I had tossed this one in, thinking that was going to be the battery, but that's actually an optimization. It'll double the amount of power stored inside the battery, so that's good news. But it also opened up not just the battery, which takes five electronics, and we had only two, so I killed one of the solar panels, and now we got four. But, so we got to make one more to get this battery going. But it, um, it it will allow us to store power and then just trickle it out into lights when we want to or turn on a freezer or a refrigerator once in a while. And it really opened up our options. But we also got power switch. Um, not much of a description. When on, turns on the device on its active circuit. When off, turns on on the devices on its inactive circuit. So we can flip a switch and have these turn on, then flip a switch again and something else turns on. A little bit of control there. But this guy right here is interesting. Uh, low battery sensor. Activates when the power stored in the grid is below a given threshold. So we can fill this guy up with fuel, put a low battery sensor out here, or somewhere, and when the batteries get to a certain point the generator will turn on hopefully all automatically sounds like it so no more waiting for someone to come turn the generator off for us so that's good and my sound just ramped up because I'm paused yeah there goes was it ah and the other thing is that Rita's uh, mission her she's in an air balloon right now I didn't read that fully until I was editing the episode and noticed the 2H. It was only a two hour trip. So she left it at 11 at night and it's one in the morning. So I didn't want to spend the, the night doing things and then have her already back before I started recording. Anyway, she has discovered grain grass. Oh, another way of making grain Grass is not as dense and tall as wheat, but its seeds are obviously edible on closer inspection. I will call it grain grass. We don't have this in our biome. Oh, sending Rita out has great benefits. It could prove quite useful in cooking, as well as the production of oil and even antibiotics with the right fermentation. Harvesting and planting of grain grass. So, a second way of getting grain. Oh, that is great. She's still on her mission to find out what the screeching noises were and that's coming up yeah grain grass where do you like to grow out of curiosity before we forget about it because I want you in as soon as possible so you kind of like the whole area here grain grass um, you are 90% you are 100% so yeah you could be most anywhere in fact, you can be all through where the old buildings were. Oh, I like that. I do. Um, let's just drop you in here for now as a reminder. And as she plants that, we'll put another one in over here. Anyway, she's about to throw us another message, I'm assuming. Will that run for a second? No? Okay, we got the benefit of it. That's not it. It went away. Okay. Uh, energy storage. So this was the yeah, automatic, automated battery sensor and whatnot. So that I didn't read that last time. That would have been beneficial. So we are short one of these, 21 of those, and 76 six, yeah, of those. I'll leave that up to remind us. we got to cut trees today. But we are running. She would have already arrived at that mission location. So, what happened? She's over here. Ah, uh, she's sleeping. Oh. So, they do get a normal sleep routine when they're on a trip. 
and she's over there amongst the shrieking noises, sound asleep, curled up in her basket. Okay, well, we'll just let this run then. <laughs> I played a little bit more with this from last time, and I think I put together something that looks kind of interesting. I was able to get them connected, at least through here. Terrace their way down, and it kind of dies right there. Can't see it, but that went underground, so that's the ground level's right there. Um, I wish I could connect these a little bit better, but we go a little bit too flat right here. And starting this one up over here was way up in the air. It didn't work, so I had to... So hopefully they can jump down off of this. You can see the height of the logs. It gets smaller and smaller, and you can almost can't see the logs here. That's pretty much buried in the ground. This will hopefully make a lot more sense as we get closer. And I could get rid of this... Actually, I could. Let's cancel you and drop another one of you in here. Yeah, that probably makes a little more sense. I like the way it feathered off. And I wonder if we, you know, we could kind of stair step off here and there and see if, you know, we can, I don't know, play with the design a little bit. All right, shrieking noises. A spike tailed insect has made a small lair between some rocks. It looks to be alone for now. This might be a good chance to observe its kind from a safe distance. Observe it. Observe away. It may be useful. Or no need to know anything about it. Kill it. Uh, let's do the observing. I think she would do that from a distance. Uh, a nesting shrieker. So is that... Yeah, that's that's our buddy. Yeah, The, the, the bug nest up there. The noise is at this thing made while it was alive were enough to send chills down my spine. I call it Shrieker. It is a nasty insect with a curious organ which absorbs collagen and calcium from its food and transforms them into sharks, sharp spikes that grow on the creature's tail and can be flung at its prey. If cornered, the insect can also bite and tear flesh with its strong jaws. We can now tame the Shrieker if we wanted to, or we can build a st statue. Okay. Can you get anything back from it? Apparently not. So she must be on her way back. Okay. So, does it... Uh, unpowered devices for, and Rita has hypothermia. Being exposed to low temperatures for too long will lead to death. Make sure the survivors wear appropriate clothes and that rooms have a source of heating. So she's still just two hours away. Hopefully she's not still sleeping. Uh, we don't know. There's no record. Oh, she is still here. All right. Um, assigned sleeping. Hmm. Cancel brings her back? Or... I don't know. Did we get a sense of her actual health from here? We do. Um, it's numbing cold. Oh, that's not health. There we go. Hypothermia mild. And temperature of 96.6 instead of 98.6. Okay. Let's go until hypothermia medium or something like that. And otherwise, hopefully... Two more hours after that notice came, she'll show up. We'll see if she really is sleeping or if the timer is running. She could be sleeping in the basket while it's floating away, right? Don't know. Anyway, everybody's up here sleeping. We got a... Edmund? What are you doing? Dude, you are all slept out. And you're just sitting here with a big question mark on your head. Uh-huh. And you're getting cold. Edmund, why don't you give me some power poles? So you construct two poles and then construct a solar panel. And then I want Paulette and Kana. Who's in the best condition? Not bad. And worse. <laughs> so Paulette probably. Meals, uh, seven and four. We've got a, easily a day's worth. And maybe we'll get Paulette to build us a uh, an electronics real quick. Okay, she's up too. And she's going to, to make food. Let's go ahead and... 
Oh, we don't have enough metal alloy. Okay. Well, we do have some scrap. We do. Let's go ahead and add something that I don't want to do very often, but let's go ahead and smelt ore from scrap, and we'll do it once in each of these furnaces. So scrap and scrap. That'll give us 30. It's one for one. So, Paula, can you go ahead and do that to get us going? And then how much are we going to need for this guy? We're going to need 20 more for that one. Um, okay, that balloon is not flying in. By 5 o'clock, I'm going to go check up on Rita. Um, you, let's also do a round of that one time. Scrap and you. That gives us 50. Smelt, scrap. It's not going to repeat by itself and take all of our scrap metals. And there's 5 o'clock. So Rita, where are you and how are you doing now? You are still mild. Uh, 95, 6 though. Another degree and you'll be into severe. we got to get you back. So... You are this direction. Are you still sleeping? If I cancel, unit is coming back if I cancel. So I don't know if there's anything more to gain from this. I think we've done our game. Oh, she is coming back. I cannot cancel. Okay, that's what you're trying to tell me. So she should be here any time now. Then we'll get her into a... We'll keep her inside for a while. Get her warmed up. Um, temperatures, how are we doing? So outside we are 9 degrees. We're still in that cold snap. And inside we are at 16. So 7 degrees more with the window open. Okay. Refrigerators are still running at... Oh, they're turned off. So they're also 15 degrees just like inside. Oh, inside it's warmed up by 1. Okay. So if we were to close this, what would happen? Is there anybody immediately nearby? Um, I don't know if Edmund can close it from the outside or if he's got to run in. So I will grab Simon. He's almost done with breakfast. He'll be the first one able to handle large window. Oh, I need to... waiting to be closed, yeah. So we'll watch that happen, see if there's an instant change in temperature or a gradual one or, or just how that works. Uh, Edmund is going to need scrap okay for the solar panel all right so we are inside 16 degrees close that we are 16 degrees well that's good to know it's not going to immediately you know warm up by 10 degrees just because we closed the window uh eating still 16 degrees so we're 9 to 16 now we are 9 to 17 now, this isn't brick, <clears throat> so more temperature is going to bleed through this area than out here. Which means we could warm it from the inside air even without a vent. Very slowly. 9 and 17. Give that to 9 and 18. And then open the window again and see if it reverses. So right now we are at 8 degree spread. Yeah. I'm just watching what's happening out here. Waiting for Rita's balloon to get back, too. 9 and 17. Okay, what else is happening? Um, you are getting supplies for building a pipe. And is that all of those? Good, you grabbed all of them. Good, all right. Don't have to worry about you just grabbing one or two at a time. And you've got your coat on. Good. Simon, I just heard a rumble. Simon is now good down to 21. He was 35 before. Okay. Oh, balloon. That was the balloon landing. Okay. So Rita is back. And she returns with knowledge. And she's going to go play a didgeridoo. And then she's going to hopefully swap out some clothes here soon. So you are in good shape except for relaxation. You brought a meal with you. And I don't see it. another one on the ground. So I guess you ate the both if you brought two and your temperature now is 94 for you are cold um it's moderate so you manage the middle stages of hypothermia you play the didgeridoo and then you sit down in this nice comfy chair and relax in the 51 degree indoor balmy weather okay we are 
11 outside and we are 19 inside so it's still a spread of 8 and if I open this back up again and Paulette I meant for you to be working no we got to make our yeah we're gonna have to make our alloy before we can make our parts okay so who can open a door for me playing Edmund is sitting he is relaxing by sitting that's what he's doing yeah so Edmund how about you handle a window and then come on over here and play some music and that will get your relaxation and I'll get my window open oh that sound <laughs> I don't get down here at this level that often enough. There's a lot that goes on in this house. Be glad when they aren't all wearing beanies. So we're gonna work on a on a spear. Connor's working on another coat. Yeah. When I play games, I try not to spend all of my time up here you know, like uh, like running and banished prefer to get down and, and see what's happening see our stoves anyway we are now at nine in the morning we did open the window it is 14 outside it is now only a six degree spread so opening up the window does allow outdoor temperature in to some degree okay so we're going to stay well frozen in here and not have to worry about cooling. We do not have any fuel in the generator. Fuel is not coming out of these for a long time. <laughs> um, Rita, you are sitting. How is your temperature? You are back to almost normal again. Okay, so after that you can go do what you need to do. Failing spaceship debris. Hitting over here. That's quite a ways from us. Are you already in the air? You're right there? Yep, there you are. Okay. And you are... Interesting shape. And that looks like it's got some storage in it, doesn't it? Yeah. I bet you there's some electronics that we can salvage from that one. Hmm. <laughs> well, speaking of, Carter is deconstructing a shelf because he is bound and determined to get these shelves deconstructed. So, yeah, you go ahead and deconstruct some shelves. Can we... We're still spread out between two different shelters here. You do that. Um, you're heading for which one, officially? That one right there and can't really get to well you're just doing that one then you're going to do this one salvage landing pod and this is salvage turns out this one last time was scavenge so we had not made it to our second round over here yet this is the one that's going to hopefully do something when it uh when it gets completed can't you go in again edmund is constructing stairs oh we're going to go explore this idea. Yeah, let's see what these look like. In fact, um, Simon, although, yeah, I'm, I would like to see the, uh, um, the pipe finished. Rita, you can't do any kind of growing. You would jump into working on meals. But even Paulette's not doing that right now, is she? Where is she at? She is handling a furnace. Okay. Rita, why don't you... Wow, too bad I can't tell you to just bring out all the materials. I can tell you to deliver. I think that will do it. So Rita, temporarily, you could be set to a one over here. And I think you would start delivering wood so that Eben can continue uh, just building. We'll see how that works. If it is how deliver functions um oh we got enough material there okay so in that case paulette you're bringing 
Uh, you're loading burnables in there so these can continue to burn. But can you... yeah. Do a electronics next. Okay. You're handling the hot air balloon. Oh, we have 20 fuel. Do we want it in there? Or do we want it in here? We could go do another expedition. We could send Edmund off and bring back some, some good loot. That's an idea. Uh, Rita went straight into into uh, ranching. Okay. So I can't tell her to bring wood. I can only tell her to construct. Though if I tell her to construct, she'll probably bring enough all the wood that she could carry. Edmund, what are you doing? You are deconstructing a shelf. Because Carter went straight into salvaging. I didn't tell him to override it. Alright, let's just get this done so you guys can finally get off the kick of needing to destroy this shelf. And now you're going to go construct a stair. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you're going to go drop that off all the way up here. And then I want you to construct more stairs. And let's see this built this time. Carter should be just about done with his first round. Now well, halfway. So he was going through this one quite quick at one point. So maybe salvaging is a longer process than scavenging. It seemed like when we were just scavenging, he was going through it pretty fast. Paulette is handling a fireplace still. And still. So I guess she had a bunch of stuff already stacked up in her queue. You are now going to haul. Let's just have you haul as much as you possibly can because Umair kind of left these behind last time. Uh, we now have a smoke leaf pipe. One hitter wooden pipes filled with dried smoke leaf. All right. And I double clicked on that and I don't know where you went. There we are. And you're getting more smoke leaf to make another one. Or you are. Yeah, you are. Okay. So, yeah, let's drop that off. And then maybe I'll have you. Boy, I wish I could tell you to go haul something. It doesn't work that way. You're getting more. You're probably getting sticks. Yeah, you're getting more sticks. I wish I could get you to empty these. If I, Simon, I right click, I can equip and use and things like that. Okay. Simon, you got you got a coat now. You're good to 21, right? 21. Simon, let's put you back on to delivering. And let's get uh, the rest of the stuff brought up. So, Simon, you are there. You are a 1. Let's take this back to a 2. And let's reset you. And you're putting it away. Oh, come on. <laughs> you could have left and worked on it later. Oh, best laid plans. Rita's transporting. Good. So delivering is working. Which means Simon... Okay, he's just going to find the closest thing to transport. She's going to transport a... That's just sitting out there, huh? A short bow. Okay. Put that away. What was that noise? Oh, so we are... Oh, power cell research is done. Compact but powerful power sources used in the production of advanced devices and weapons. That should open up our path to working on the railgun snipers. It didn't. You need carbon nanotubes and CPU cores. Okay, we've got to get the CPU core finished. Which Paulette never did what I asked her to do, did she? Uh, you are handling the fireplace. You're still stuck on handling the fireplace. Handling and two more somethings. A handling and another handling. Okay. Well, otherwise you are going to need a break when you get all that done. So I guess we're not going to get the uh, electronics and CPU core built today. Maybe tomorrow we'll get that going. Though a lot of wood has been brought down here. Okay. 
So we can start popping the stuff together, see what it looks like. Uh, Paulette is coming back. Uh, Simon is transporting 20 into what? Is he just putting it away? Yeah, then someone will grab it for the electronics work here. Um, there we are. So, what do you think? Surrounded by bushes and trees, this pathway could look really good. It's probably just going to be for aesthetics. I have a feeling they're not going to uh, ever path over it. But I don't know. They wonder if any of these act as obstacles. Such that, actually they would path over it if we were to fence across. And that'd be the only way in. I mean, we can kind of try to force it, but that seems impractical. Though we could throw a fence from here to here. That would, I think that would look kind of natural. Carter's constructing stairs. Carter, can I get one more round? I probably can. One more round of this guy out of you. And what did you find? Oh. You scavenged a, a power cell. That's new. I think that's all that's new. We've seen all the rest of those. Okay, so we've got a power cell. So having a power cell, is that enough to change? It is not. We still can't get to this until we find or produce a CPU core. Okay. And why do we have one electronic left? You, four out of five, and we have one. Oh, electronics is a category, one power cell. Okay, so we still need to make one of those. Um, so, yeah, Carter, when you're done, you are going to do this next. Okay, that's good. Now, fuel for the balloon, it was 20 out of 30. So we're still needing someone to make 10 more. Or, and that thunk was what? Uh, no idea. Or we need to go get some poo and make 10 gallons. Though it might, well, it would be good to have this guy loaded with gas for a backup too. So, yeah, there's, there's not going to be enough fuel for our needs for quite some time. Though the additional grain is certainly going to help. Let's do some more with that. Extend this field out into here. Yeah. And you guys are transporting like crazy now. Okay. We might even get this done tonight. And then we'll tear this structure down and we can put more fields over here. And Rita, do we have a helper for Rita? This spring is going to be nuts. Activities, harvest. We don't. We have Carter, Paulette, and Kana as well they, they know what a what a shovel is, and that's about it. Hmm. Okay. Yep, yeah, I kinda like that. Now the transitions. Well, we don't get to see this yet. Or this. I want to see the beginning of one of these. Okay, so we'll have to wait on that. Uh, Edmund is deconstructing a shelf. No, 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 no. Can you get this built? Missing resources. We're out of wood. Okay. Can you cut down this tree and then cut down these before you go to bed? Thank you. Let's get some resources in. And who are you? You are a humming fly. Yep. Uh, on power device is nine. I think that means we built another device. Because we weren't powered to begin with. We're running on torches right now. Yeah. So what did you just build? Ah, uh, both of these lights are in now. And we got hallway lights in. Yeah. One, two. And we've got our living room and kitchen lights. So that is six lights total at the moment. We're not going to do bedrooms. The torches seem to be enough. How many glow caps do we still have? Glitter caps. 105. That's... Hmm. 
probably not going to take us all the way to growing them again, but we'll see. Um, transporting, good. So we have these guys left here. You are green check, green check, and green check. Okay. You are transporting those, unpowered, nothing new over here. Scavenge those. Anything else change? No. So let's get rid of that. So we can more easily distinguish what Carter finds tonight. Otherwise, Edmund is cutting. And no other notices of hypothermia. Rita's transporting. What did that do to our... Oh, Rita's transporting. Okay. So Paulette is still cooking, right? Yeah. And transporting two meals to the fridge. And it is 20 hundred. Paulette, ah, you need some relaxation. You're going to be cranky here soon. Darn. Okay, then let's get you started on that so you have less to do tomorrow morning to to be functional. I do think the relaxation aspect of this game is a little bit overpowered. They they get cranky way too easy. I mean, we don't every day they're going to have. It seems like they've got to uh, get close to a meltdown, and that's getting a little old. But. Uh, yeah, that's a game balancing issue. All right, so you're almost done. You're bringing up the moonshine. Probably not a lot left over here then. Oh, one bow left. And then hopefully these can all go in the same trip and they're done. Hmm. Why have these taken so long to be brought up, I wonder? It is still the same setting. 54, good as this so I don't know that answer and you're bringing it up with you and the ship is gone okay well now we know what happens when we finish that second round I was kind of I was kind of hoping a whole bunch of stuff would be left behind like uh, you know kind of a end of project bonus but I guess that's not a thing okay chili negative six uh, you were transporting the wood you took down. No, you're just transporting some wood. You are going to the project that I had asked you to work on. Okay. Maybe it's both. Uh, three, 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 three. Yeah, it sounds like it's both. 58 is quite a bit. In fact, it might even be enough to even do some of these. Let's see how he goes. Either way... Between him and Carter, this should all be built tomorrow. Yeah, 52. He's probably going to do the whole structure and then go to bed. You have got everything but the one item. Okay, good. And Khan is sleeping. Paulette, Simon, and Umair are sleeping. Dog is walking in. Dog is happiness of 90. And fattening of 62, whatever that means. He's still got 70 food left. And Carter's grabbing a midnight snack. Edmund is going to sleep. It is midnight. And that is the end of that day. Feels like two days already since we spent so much time with waiting for Rita and that little intro timing. Um, what else is out and around here? Oh, there's something new. I haven't seen our our uh, giant chickens in quite some time and they are on the hunt they are what are you guys after ah we have an olfin and butcher you're already gone okay and you guys are probably coming back to eat no you're running after something else now oh here's the nest there's a pancoth in the tree what was that that I just saw We've got two nests. Is that what I'm getting out of this? This one's stuck in a tree. Yeah, there's a, they only come in fours that I know of. So this is the other group. Okay. So I've heard since they tend to attack anything that comes near them, a good strategy. Do I want to butcher this this far away? I don't think so. A good strategy is to run your enemies or you know attacking bugs through a 
group of those giant chickens and there's a good chance they will jump in and attack your enemies along with you or they'll take you down too i haven't tested that theory but uh, it'd be interesting to see it anyway edmund should actually be up soon he doesn't sleep for very long i'm thinking four hours he went to bed around midnight four hours ought to be enough for him and then he'll get out here and start building we are at 26 degrees so our cold snap is gone okay so we're 26 outside and inside we have matched outdoor temperature interesting and the best we're going to do with the refrigerators on is 39 so as long as we stay colder than 39 there's still no point in turning these on so let's flag them to be turned off and leave them off if we do get gas and turn on the lighting they won't turn on and we'll just leave that window open so yeah Catherine, that was a that was a good suggestion well uh We'll take advantage of that while we can. Simon's up first. Okay. And he's going for berries because they're closer. That is a little frustrating, i got to say. Um, yeah. And they're always going to be closer unless we get the fridge in here, which is easier said than done. Yeah, I just won't do it. And we're getting free freezing by leaving them in there. So I can just manually tell Simon to uh, grab something a little bit better that's got some... Uh... In fact, let's do that while you're turning them off, then eat some meat soup. Okay. But you'll get the plus 12? At least a plus 6 from eating the, the meat. Um, the meat soup. And Kana is getting the pickled vegetables um, for for breakfast. We'll have to watch that. I've never seen them eat one of those before. Anyway, quick recipes are a plus six happiness. Okay, so get them that rather than I'm thinking blueberries or bush fruits or whatever they are is just a neutral zero. You're idling because that's, that's another false alarm there. You're not. You are it always happens when it's around dog. Like, they can't figure out because dog is sleeping. They want to pet. They can't. And so they go into idle mode. Okay. I want you to sit down in a really comfy chair and do that instead. Kana, what happens to you? You are well fed. Uh, many things. Enough food variety. So 18 and plus 9. You ate at a table. And it's considered a quick meal. Or no, that's an old one. Only one hour left on that. So, well fed and enough food variety. So you got in neutral. You got nothing out of that other than food. Okay. So you got food but no bonus. Which is fine. You don't have to get a bonus on everything. I mean, she's doing... Well, she's... That was Kana. And she's actually going down because she's unrelaxed. So, actually, she could have used that bonus, huh? Can they cook with these vegetables? I wonder. See, that's, that's, I wish I could say eat a meal as a higher priority rather than a strict yes or no. Constructing, Deconstructing a shelf. All right, let's get these shelves... Now, I need these to be gone first, then we will deconstruct all of them. So, Edmund, instead, you're actually in pretty good shape. Let's just get to work here. I want to see that done, and I want to see this done. I want to see what these look like. Do they blend into the ground like I'm hoping that they will? They do. Hello, music night. When you have musical instruments, you have music. And music is everything that one needs to make a party. Let's gather and dance at 1900. Great idea. That that could be fun. Celebration out. Okay, so yeah, they can just step right onto this and start walking. That's what I was hoping it would look like when it was done. But it's hard to tell when it's purple and elevated like that. Okay. Yeah, this is looking good. Okay. Oh, chickens are... 
Yeah. We need to get these guys observed. How is that done? You set for butcher. Can I observe? I can probably observe during the day when they are nesting. And you guys are closer. Where is your nest? I don't know. And wherever it is, maybe we can observe those feathers nearby. Alright, you butcher as well if there's anything left of you. And what else is out here? Okay, so we've got a nest here. That's probably their nest. It just says cut. Nesting place of a large bird. So why would you cut? And you guys are actually... There's a lot going on over here. So you've been killed. You are a dead bird. Butcher, you are a dead pancoth. There's a lot happening out here. So they went attacking pancoths too. Hmm. Paulette, you are in what condition? Rita, you're in better condition. You are probably training. You can get away without. Let's send you out here to um, butcher you, both of those, and butcher you, and butcher you. Let's go ahead and get some meat out of this. Now, that's two different kinds of meat, so I'll have to send two people to... Actually, three. We're going to have uh, leather as well, but we could really use those materials right now. You are a pile of nests, or a pile, a pile of feathers, uh, still 40, so it hasn't degraded. Somewhere around here there's a pile of 120, I know I saw that. Okay, you guys are pumpkins still sitting around? Really? Okay, well Simon, what are you doing? You are transporting the wood that was cut down, okay. When you're done with that, you need to relax. So you need to do something like that. And then you need to get out here with your faster run speed and come all the way out to Pumpkinville over here. Uh, where was I? Hmm. There you are. Okay. And I searched all over the place for you guys. When you're done, Simon... Simon, <laughs> can you haul those? <laughs> okay, these guys are making, they're wiping out a pancoth. Boy, when these guys move in, everything starts to die, I tell you. Anyway, so, and then Rita, when you're done, that's what I didn't finish with those others, then butcher this one and butcher this one. Okay, so these guys, mission accomplished, they are heading back home. You are only 5 of 20 health. You're going to cross their path. Are they going to suddenly aggro on you? They're not, okay. You're not going to make it much longer, unfortunately. So... You could be good at hunting practice for somebody. Um, Omar, how are you doing? You don't like the outside so much, but you did have a an interest in hunting? Combat. Not quite the same as hunting. But your happiness is sitting pretty strong right now. Why don't you come out and do this? Just get a little bit of uh, practice in. These guys aren't going to bother you. And otherwise, I think that's enough for our field trip over here. What's happening up at this end? Rita is out to butcher. Edmund is constructing stairs. Umayar is going to go hunt and complain about it the whole way because he doesn't like going outside. And Simon is going to go grab those buttermelons. And I hear somebody banging on something. Oh, I'm thinking, oh, that's Edmund. There's, there's the noise, because Carter isn't. He is petting dog. And now he's petting dog. 
And now he is constructing stairs. Does any more fuel show up out of nowhere? No. So that's not a thing yet. Um, Kana is tailoring. She's finishing off another shirt. I'm guessing. When is, ta is she no longer going to be tailoring? Two, 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 two. So she is working on a sweater. How necessary is that? I don't know. Let's pause that. Which releases you. You are free to go and construct. Okay. So you're going to get those done real quick and then you will drop into what? So, Kana, when you're no longer constructing your next... And there's, there's no more ones. You're going to drop into crafting and assembling. Ah. Assembling. Kana, your condition right now is actually really good. Can you craft a CPU core? What do we need to make the electronic? Though a CPU core would be nice. Um, let's look at this here. The electronic needs 10 and 10, and we have 9, of course. And it takes how long? I'm not getting a sense of that. Uh, still not getting a sense of it. What am I missing here? Okay, from here. There we go. 6 hours to make you, and 12 hours to make you. You we have the materials for, but it's going to take twice as long. Let's steal the materials. Boy, is there a way to say there isn't. All right. Cancel you. Kana, go ahead and make the... Pause for a second. There you are. Electronics. Takes a while to reset everything. Electronics, and then let's put another battery in. I wish I had a better place to put a battery, but I couldn't find one at the time. So, maybe a battery... Well, I've already chosen a wardrobe to go in here. Hmm. We'll see. Maybe wardrobes will go in the bedrooms all the way down the length, and the, a battery can go here. Eventually, we need a space for batteries, which could be right here. It could be. I'd like to see them under a roof. What is that? Oh, these. There's a lot of rumbling going on over here. So, did we get our 50? Let's think that through. Um, does it say what's actually being made right now? There it is. So, we're still working on 10 of those and 10 of those. And they're almost done. Which gets this going again. As soon as this gets built. Alright. So, we should see that this day. Okay. Okay. So, constructing stairs. The stairs are pretty much done all the way through. And... I like the look of that. I think it looks pretty good. And this just worked out really well. The angle was right for it to keep dropping landings in as it went down. Now, to get them to walk on it. Is there even a chance? I don't know. I mean, yeah, we could throw a fence across maybe that is the answer just to make it happen what happens if we do um fencing defense is where you find defense yeah um it can be actually sticks seem cheap but it actually takes quite a bit to make that happen let's go across why is that red can i not build there i can't okay so if you go there and I didn't notice how many sticks I was going to take. But we'll see how that goes. You went to do, you went to hunt and you didn't do anything with it. Rita! Oh. You are wandering through. They're not harming you. Okay. You're hungry though. I'm hungry. So you're doing that, that, and this little guy that we went to hunt. Where did he go? He was here. He was right here. Did he fly away? I don't know. Oh, well. 
Guess that's not going to be. Okay, well, we are 39 degrees outside. Which means our freezer is 39 degrees right now, isn't it? You are 39 indoors and 38 outdoors. Hmm. So if I closed that window first thing in the morning, would it have maintained? So we're at refrigerator temperature now. We're at noon, so we're going to get even warmer then. And we have no fuel. Yeah, so we couldn't turn these on if we wanted to. Okay, Paulette, when you are done, I need you to go and make some fuel. And what poo is available close by? Let's grab this area here. And 100 manure, and let's use it. And we'll see just what happens there. Okay, Edmund is mining because he can't find anything else to do. Cool. Mine you too. And there's a big bird coming through. Wait a minute, I lost you. There's our pterodactyl. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's observe you. Just in case you happen to land nearby. <clears throat> um, Simon's transporting that back in. I wanted to flag all of this stone. Uh, stone. Go ahead and trigger that. And was there stone up here? There is. Let's flag all of this stone. Manure rock chunks. That said mine, this said use. Did I do something odd there? I did. What got flagged out here instead? I did something like that. And stone. Okay. I need what? Rocks? Rock chunks. Mine. Okay. That makes a little more sense. Though I went a little too far out over here. Let's not deal with these guys. In fact, from there over. And rock chunks. Cancel those orders. Any others? No. Okay. Alright, so just stick to this side. And then get up in here. And where is our next closest? Probably right in here. Rock chunks. I'll turn you guys on. That's not too far from home. Okay. Wind up here. Unpowered devices. Two. Two. Oh, we have a solar panel. That's right. So what does that do for us? Let's... I forgot all about these. I was thinking we need a fuel. Yeah, I'm going to have to... Produce... We're supplying 20... We're supplying 40, and we're using 16. And we're, we can be using it during the day when it's warm, powered by our solar panels. And at night when the solar panels don't work, it'll be cold enough not to need it. Ooh, I like that. So Paula is crafting. Um, Umayar, can you please come over here and handle two fridges? Let's get these turned on again. Room in there is 42 degrees fridge is 41 42 how quickly does that change so we just turned it on boom how quick materials insufficient over there kana is mostly done with hers waiting for that click again 39 that's already 39 now it says 39 okay so we're back to refrigerator temperature. Constructing a fence. Good. Carter's got that taken care of, and we're going to need more construction level 8. Nice. We're going to need more sticks soon. Um, let's take out this area of sticks as well. Broad leaf bushes cut. And uh, Rita transporting 33 bug meat. Good. That's done. Uh, there's more bug meat, though. Not good. And if I have you come back and get it, you're probably not going to go back and grab that one, so it'd be a wasted trip. You're too far away. Oh, that's a shame. Okay, Simon, you are in decent shape. You are located where right now? 
you are doing all the local transportings. Okay. Go ahead and do that. I want to watch that. Carter is getting more sticks to do more fencing. So you're going to grab both of them good. You're going to load this guy up. And then put the rest in a rack somewhere. We have lots of lots of hay. Okay, so putting that in there. And the other ten gets to go right there. And now you're going to transport probably to fuel a torch or something. Okay, so in that case, can you come out and grab the rest of this stuff? Bug meat equals rocket fuel. <laughs> Ah, uh, lost you. Over here? No. Over here. There we go. And there is a dead Pankoff that didn't get butchered. And you are poo. Okay, so Simon, I need you to transport this. And then be nice to grab these other things that the birds attacked. And get in my bearings. That was down in here. Rita butchered them already. So where is everything? You are feathers. See, I don't know if the other animals just flew up to them and ate them. There should at least be some leather sitting out here. There's our goods. And you're eating them. Yeah. So no point in sending them out here. They're eating them up as fast as we can butcher them. Yeah, so from there, that was a dead bird. There was a dead something else over here. And there was a dead olfin over here. Right? That was kind of in the dark. But I think that's where they were. I'm looking for the leather that we got, that we left behind, but I don't see that anymore either. Well, I guess that one's a loss. We weren't there to actually see it happen. It's possible that the Olfen got eaten before they actually got to be butchered. Home is this way. Okay, so Simon, you are just going after the bug meat. Okay. And are we ready for more fuel or not? I'm just going to have Rita just take it directly there. You are still waiting for... Kana, are you done? I think you're done. That's a Rita. Kana, constructing a fence. Okay. Then I'm guessing we have an electronic on a shelf over here. Not you. Not you. Still in the bench? Still not in the bench. You're in there. Carter went and got it. Okay, batteries coming online. Hopefully while these are still able to make some power and put a tiny bit in the battery, and hopefully the battery will connect. Where does this power cord come from? All right, are you officially charging rate eight? So we're, we have eight excess right now. We're making eight more than we're using. I want to see they go to 16. There it is. Four of a thousand. We actually have some now. Okay. It's not going to last through the day. Uh, reach construction eight. Rotted some poo. Power cell assembly. Power cells are the ultimate source of power. They extract energy on subatomic level. The process involves dark matter, various catalysts, and thousands of microprocessors controlling the process. We should be able to rig something from metal alloys in a CPU core, right? <laughs> Highly complicated system. Eh, we can just throw it together. Uh, Edmund insulted Umair's sense of humor. Okay, guys, get along, get along. Uh, Paula is cooking, eating, eating, and that's it. So we did do fuel. Fuel is in here. Fuel is in here. Do we sneak off on another mission? And if so, who? Edmund is who I would think so. He's... Where? Here. So he hasn't left yet. He is in decent shape. He's going to miss music night, though. That's a problem. And we have a headless snowman. It got warm today. It did. Yeah. 
There's Rita's snowman that you guys got to watch her make. This was Carter's snowman, but yeah, they I guess they're starting to fall apart. We had a, a little bit of a warm smell. Okay, so Edmund's not going that far. Okay, maybe we'll have him take off just as he finishes sleep. Actually, before sleep. He, yeah, he could do that. We go somewhere where we're going to get something out of it. Um, I got to thinking, you know, he doesn't have the railgun sniper, which I would love for him to take with him if he's going out somewhere. But Kana's, no, Rita's got it, and she left a pistol somewhere. So that's probably in here. So who needs a pistol? Who is our next best shot? Uh, you hunt. So that would be... Well, Simon, Edmund, or Carter are all threes. I'm thinking Edmund. So Edmund, before you take off, let's put a pistol on you. In case you run into something that needs it. Uh, Carter is transporting poo. So he has hit transporting or delivering. So any other poo in the area that I could trigger? No, that's all there is right here. All right, so you transport what you can. And we don't have poo in our fridge, right? <laughs> Tell me we don't have poo in our fridge. Uh, meals. So that would be an other, I'm guessing, music night. And so that would be down here. Unfinished items, no. So that would be crafting materials. Manure. Okay. So we do have the smoke leaves in here. We're no, we're we're not doing the manure thing in here. Not happening. Uh, uh no. Um, forty degrees outside. So we're gonna be dropping. Let's get these turned off and save what little power we have left. So turn you off, turn you off. And I hate to have to min max this much, but uh, I think it's worth it. Paulette, when you're done, you're going. Paulette, when you are done, transport. And then you're going to turn these off. And then you're free to go to music night. Rita is already there. Umayar is going to go there. Kana is. Otherwise, they'll craft their way all the way through and never get back to it. Um, Edmund, how close are you? I'm getting the sense that you've... Yeah, you're in between. You haul stone, and then you will do that automatically. Carter... You are on your way back, too. So you'll head there automatically. Simon is on his way in. So I think we're as close as we can get to everybody having a ball here in a little bit. So instruments are here. All right. Who are our entertainers? We have this guy over here just to kind of get it out of the way. Did we bring it back over here? Can we? Can I even click on it? Uh, move... You will not go there. That's why, because of the chair. And I can't get you in any of these spots because you block all of these. Because we can't step past any of these. And you're blocked there, you're blocked there. There is nowhere else for this to go other than right there. Um, you can't even go there because the archway cannot handle someone <laughs> standing in it. <laughs> and I can't go there either. Oh, that's frustrating. So that was the closest that I could get. Unless I put you in front of... Can't even... Well, I could do... No. We can go here, and that's it. Okay. That's as close as it gets. So, gathering for celebration, but not actually doing anything. Hmm. So, there's Kana. And Paulette is gathering. So, I think a little stage fright's here going on. I'm not going to play it. You play it. Well, it's your idea to have this party. Yeah, well, I thought it'd be a good idea. But someone else has got to... There we go. Unpowered devices, just in time. Umair is going to jump in and... Kana, that gave Kana and Rita the uh, courage to jump in and, and uh, try it as well. Evan is transporting that he's going to join. Carter's going to drop off his poo, and he will be joining. Simon's jumping in. 
All right, we play in the dark next to the shroom torch. And uh, Paulette is over here dancing next to the dartboard. Yeah. Carters, make sure you wash your hands afterward, okay? So, otherwise, turning a page in my notebook, so I've got to finish off all the last of these to-do lists. We got some trees cut. Temperatures are holding. 78 indoors. Bedrooms are in their 50s. Everything looks good here. Should be dropping in or 45. Outdoors are 36. This should be dropping soon. It should be. Indoors is 72, so that's probably influencing it quite a bit. Yeah. Boy, you guys are noisy. It's a good noise, but it's noisy. Attending a music night. So everybody's getting all kinds of bonuses to their happiness. Uh, doesn't show up yet. It'll be a plus 20 or 25, but I'd probably have to wait for it to end. That's everybody, right? Looks, yeah, there's their symbols. They're all attending a party. Turn my speakers down a little bit. And with that, we'll probably call this an episode, huh? Uh, it's music night plus 20. Play music plus 18. Ah, the entertainers get a bonus. Okay, Kana, you got a plus 18 and a plus 20. Nice. Yeah, so Edmund's going to sleep. I'm thinking beginning of next episode, we'll send him off to do some mission that brings back a bunch of goods. I think that's probably a, a good plan. But until then, I think I'm going to call this one done. Thanks for watching, folks, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.